Hey, Country Boy Reviews here. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you hadn't yet. You know, something's been bothering me. People seem to think that just because a gun doesn't cost $500, if a burglar comes in your house gonna steal all your ice cream, and he sees that gun, it ain't gonna stop him. Freeze right there! Wait a minute. What kind of gun you got? It's a Sky CPX-1. <laughs> Man, I thought you had a Glock or something. That ain't no gun. <laughs> now tell me how the burglar and the homeowner are standing in the same spot. Do what we're on? Oh, um, anyway, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, first of all, whether you're shooting with a $100 gun or a $1,000 gun, uh, the bullet's gonna impact the same, and ain't nobody gonna stick around to check what kind of gun you're shooting, all right? So let's stop all that right now. But, you know, speaking of budget guns, the Sky has been around a while, SCCY. Uh, they're out of Florida, got really good customer service. Uh, let's go downstairs and see what we think about this little CPX-1 and come back up here and talk about it in a minute. All right, let's take a look at this little Sky CPX-1 and see what we think about it. Before we start, this gun is clear, okay? It comes with two magazines and a couple, they're 10 round magazines, uh, extra slide, I mean, uh, mag base plates here. One that's flat and one that's got an extra groove on it. So it comes with extra, you can do both mags like this and it gives you like an extra finger hold or you can do both mags like this for your concealability. Uh, it's a pretty concealable little gun. The CPX-1 model is the 9mm. What I think is different than it and the CPX-2 is this one has a safety. Ambidextrous safety on both sides. It's whether you like that thing or not. Good little carry gun. This one's in red and black. It's made out of a company out of Florida. Sky is made out of Florida. STCY, however you want to say it. And they have an amazing, amazing um, customer service. It's a Sky Industries Daytona Beach, Florida. Amazing customer service, uh, I've heard. They basically, I had a buddy who actually bought one of these and said you could shoot a hole in this gun. Now, I don't suggest doing this, it's just, and send it to them and they'll send you a brand new gun. They're that good, good reputation. I like the little gun and what really makes these stand out is the customer service and the price. You can get these guns for under 200 bucks. Two 10 round magazines in nine millimeter, 10 plus one with a safety. It's dependable. You can see with the safety engaged, trigger doesn't do nothing. You take it off, you got a heavy, it doesn't have any trigger safety except how heavy that trigger pull is, but it is a smooth pull. You can see the hammer coming back. It's a smooth pull. And it does have double strike capabilities. Comes with these sights that are raised, little three dot white sights. They're not night sights or nothing, but to me, they look pretty good and they're pretty easy to acquire. Like I said, a good little carry gun for a budget. You know, you don't have to get them in this red and black, but there's different colors of black and grays. Y'all can look that up on the website. If you're looking at getting one of these though, like I said, I mean, for the money, it's a lot better. You know what kind of money we're talking about here. We're talking about high point, no, high point territory. And this is to me a thousand times the gun of a high point, like I said, uh, people, I think, have, give these guns or give any gun under $300 a bad reputation because maybe they finally got their income taxes and splurged it all one year and bought them a, a $700 gun. So now any gun that's less than that, they want to brag about, you know what I mean? They want to go, oh, well, your gun costs less than mine, mine's better. That's not true. I've had some very expensive guns that was pieces of crap. And I've had some cheap guns that were really good. Y'all look at the views of the, look back at the old review before I got the good cameras of the Taurus G2C and you'll see what I'm talking about. That's a great gun. Uh, this is a good gun, really good gun. No problems with it, well made, gonna go bang when you need it to. Don't believe all the hate that you hear because somebody thinks because it's cheaper it's no good. Sky's really trying to come out with really good products for a budget, and like I said, I think they're doing a really good job. So if you're thinking about buying one of these, I would suggest you do it. It's a great little nine millimeter. Um, it shoots pretty flat, shoots pretty good. I've seen people shoot these real good, especially when you practice, and you can judge right where that trigger is going about break, right? 
there. Now, if you hold it right there on your next shot, nice crisp uh, trigger pull. Just stage it. That's what I like to do, stage them like that. Stage, fire. Like I said, once you master that trigger on this thing, it's, it's a good shooter. Thing about buying one, you can't go wrong. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. If you got one of these, uh, please be respectful, but leave your good or bad reviews in the comments for us and let everybody know. That's what this channel's really about is getting real reviews of products. You know, the only thing I don't prefer about this gun is I've got large hands, okay? And where this safety is, below it, they've got a little plastic piece that comes out of the gun there. Can you see it? So when I put my hand up on that, you can see that kind of touches my hand. And that's the only thing. I don't like the way that feels on my webbing of my hand there. Now, it's probably just a preference. That's the only issue. Now, I have issues with a lot of guns, but that's the only issue I have with this gun. I like that the trigger pull is as heavy as it is. Uh, I like the way it shoots. I like the size. I even kind of like the way it looks. So, like I said, if you got one of these and you want, or you, you know, you got anything to say to someone who might be wanting to buy one of these, uh, please give them your reviews. Do you carry these? If so, how many rounds do you have through it? Have you had any problems? I haven't had any issues with this one. So let us know. And if you're thinking about buying one of these, I give it two thumbs up. Go get one. You'll be glad you did. So as you can see, the Sky CPX-1 gets two thumbs up from me. It's a nice little concealed carry option. And pair it up with one of these tactical Scorpion gear Kydex inside the waistband holsters. Fits like a glove. Good, cheap, concealed carry option. Wear it about anywhere. If you're thinking about getting one, if you're watching these reviews because you're almost on the edge of purchasing one, get one. You'll be glad you did. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button, please hit it. We got some reviews coming up with some more firearms. We got some adventures, some fishing adventures coming up. A lot of stuff. Hit that notification bell if you want to see when our next video comes out. Uh, as always, thank you for watching so much. I appreciate it. Uh, and I want you to all, especially during this time, be safe out there, but most importantly, do me a great big old favor and live life. Got your ice cream and your spoon. Get a real gun.